Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. The title of our today's video is How to get Slack notifications for new Salesforce opportunities. So let's suppose that you are running a business and you are using Salesforce as your CRM and you want that whenever you receive a new opportunities in your Salesforce account, automatically your team should be notified in your Slack account. For this, you have to create an integration between Salesforce and Slack. To create this integration, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. In Pabli, we have the concept of trigger in action. So for trigger, we are going to use Salesforce and for action, we are using Slack. If you want to learn this process step by step, follow me through the screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, you are going to learn that how you can get Slack notifications for all your new Salesforce opportunities. So for this, we have to integrate our Salesforce account with our Slack channel account. And to do this, we are going to use Pabli. It's an amazing automation software. We are going to open a new tab and then search for pabli.com slash connect. And then we are going to click on enter. And yes, you can see here is the landing page of Pabli. And over here we have two options. One is sign up for free and the another one is sign in. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you'll get 100 of tasks free every month. But I'm an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in. And now it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here you can see all the tools and the applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we want to connect two applications that is Salesforce with our Slack. So I'm going to click on access now. And yes, you can see that my dashboard has opened. And to start with the automation, I'm going to click on this button right over here, which says create workflow. And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder which says automations and I want to name my workflow as get slack notifications for new Salesforce opportunities. And now I'm going to click on this button which says create. And now it is opening my workflow window. This is the most important window of our automation because we have trigger in action in this. Trigger means when this happens and action means do this. By this, you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the command. And as you know that we can have single commander but multiple followers. So over here, we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the command of our trigger. So now we are going to select our trigger application as Salesforce. We are going to select Salesforce. After that, it is asking me for the trigger event. So I'm going to select my trigger event as new opportunity because I want that as soon as a new opportunity is added, automatically my Slack channel should receive a notification. And now I'm going to click on connect. And it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your Salesforce account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on select existing connection. But I'm going to click on add a new connection and then connect with Salesforce. And now it is asking me for some permissions. So I'm going to click on allow because Pabli is safe and you can give all permissions it is asking for. As soon as I click on allow, my connection is successful. Over here, you can see connected. This means that we have successfully connected our Salesforce account with our Pabli's workflow. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. But before clicking on save and send test request, but before clicking on save and send test request, we are going back to our Salesforce account and we are going to generate a dummy opportunity. So I'm opening my Salesforce account. And over here, you can see all the opportunities that I've already created. But for this video, we are going to create a new opportunity. And then I'm going to give my opportunity a name that is dummy opportunity. Account name as dummy opportunity 2. And as you can see over here are the red marks which says required. So you have to fill the required details compulsorily. And if you wish, you cannot fill all the details which are not required. So I am going to fill the type as new customer. And then the email as dummy at the rate amount as 999, close date as 25th March, state as need analysis, and then the profitability as 40%. After filling in all the required details and all the details I wished, now I'm going to click on save. And yes, you can see that we have created a new opportunity. So we'll go back to our workflow and click on save and send test request. And now Pabli will capture the latest opportunity that we have created. So as you can see, opportunity type new customer. 
stage as neat analysis profitability as 40% and the name as dummy opportunity so pavli has captured our latest opportunity that we have created this means that our trigger step is successful and now we are going to our action step so for our action application we are going to select slack and for the action event we are going to select send channel message because we want that whenever we receive a new opportunity automatically a message should be sent on our channel and now i'm going to click on connect and again it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so again if you have already connected your slack account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection but i'm going to click on add a new connection and then connect with slack and over here it is asking me the token type so as you can see it is written enter the token type as either user or bot and if you want to know more about slack tokens you can click on here and find the difference between user and bot so i'm going to select my token type as bot and then i'm going to click on save and it is requesting me for permissions to access pabli connect slack workspace so i'm going to click on allow again because pabli is secure and you can give it all the permissions it is asking for And yes you can see that we have successfully connected our Slack account also with our Pabli's workflow and now it is asking me some details like channel message image url and all so we are going to fill in all these details and for the channel as you know the name of our channel is sales force opportunities so i am going to search for sales force opportunities After selecting my channel as sales force opportunities I'm going to move on to the message. So for message you can enter the desired message which your channel should receive. I'm going to enter my message as hello team new opportunities created in sales force the name of the opportunity the stage of the opportunity the type of the opportunity the amount and then the expected revenue so this is the message i have drafted for my channel and you can draft the message as you wish so now i'm going to map the name the stage the type the amount and the expected revenue so as you know mapping means inserting the data from the previous step in our previous step was the trigger step where we selected sales force as our trigger application so we are going to map the data from the response of our sales force only So for name I'm going to search name over here map the name of the opportunity as dummy opportunity and for the stage I'm again going to search stage over here map the stage name then the type the amount and the expected revenue So I mapped all of these details because I want these details to be dynamic. These details should change with every new opportunity created. So after creating a message, I'm going to move on to the next step that is image URL. So if you wish you can also send an image URL with your message, but I don't wish so. So I'll move on to the next step that is bot name. So I'm going to name my bot as Pabli. You can give your bot the desired name you want and then it is asking for the bot icon. So if you wish you can also create a bot icon just by entering the image URL over here. I don't want to create a bot icon just for now. Give me to auto expand links, link username and channel names and reply broadcast. So I'm not going to change all of these and I'll directly move on to save and send test request. If you want you can also change this. As soon as I click on save and send test request I have received a positive response that my channel has received a message so I'll go to my channel and check that if we have received the message or not And yes you can see that we have received a new message as hello team new opportunities created in salesforce the dummy name the stage the type the amount and the expected revenue This means that our workflow is successful so now we'll just summarize our workflow So for our trigger application we selected Salesforce for our trigger event we selected new opportunity we connected our Salesforce account with our Pabli's workflow and then we generated an opportunity in our Salesforce account after that we clicked on save and send as request Pabli captured the lead and then we moved on to our action step For our action application we selected Slack for our action event we selected send channel message we connected our Slack channel with our Pabli's workflow and we selected the channel we want to send the message in 
After that, we drafted a message, selected the bot name as Pabli. We did not change all of these and then we clicked on save and send test request and we received a message on our Slack channel. This means that our automation is successful. And as you can see that it is saying the trigger will check for new data in every 24 hours. So if you want to reduce this time, you can check out our YouTube channel or contact us on forum at the rate pavli.com. And rather than this, if you have any query related to the workflow or the video, you can directly comment on this video. And for your reference, I'll just clone the workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can start your automation. Thank you for watching. Not only these two applications, but with the help of Pavli Connect, you can integrate many more applications. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach us at support at the rate pavli.com. If you have any queries, you can reach at forum.pavli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this website. And if you find this video helpful, do like and subscribe our channel for more such automations. Thank you.